so Yared, um, growing up in America and the media and movies and books and all of that, did you feel like you had people in the media or in literature that represented you? And were any of them Jewish by any chance? Um, so that's a great question. I'm actually, I'm going to go back to like the first time that I actually learned what being gay was. Um, I was, I think I was in kindergarten and my, I remember it so well. My, my mom was obsessed with this show where it was a couple, like two couples would, um, swap houses and they would fix up the other person's house. Like everything that was wrong with it, they would fix it up. And there was one time where it was two men fixing up the house of somebody else. And I remember my mom saying, oh, I think they're a gay couple. And that was the first time in my life that A, I'd seen a gay couple on, on TV and B, learned what a gay couple was. I didn't know what being gay was. Um, I think like even then I still didn't get it. it. Just like was like two guys, gay, okay, whatever. You know, it, I mean, kindergarten it goes over my head. But I still remember that, like, to this day, happening. Um, but when I was in middle school and high school, I was really trying to, like, find, you know, something to connect to. Like, finding, trying to find, like, um, you know, a gay movie or a book or whatever. And um, when Netflix, like, when I was in eighth grade or something, Netflix, we, like, finally got a Netflix and uh, I found... Um, like there's a whole like LGBT uh, folder, like a like category. So I remember watching like a couple of movies there, but they were all really bad acting. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did, I just, uh, I would start a movie, but never finish it. Um, and while I was in high school, I like, I continued to try to find some things. And um, there was a documentary that I was actually able to find. I think it's called Trembling Before God. And it's about um, like Orthodox gay guys um, or Orthodox gay community. Um, and that was the first thing that I ever watched that I could really relate to and find advice from and really go with. Um, and then it wasn't really until after I'd finished high school that, you know, things really started to become more okay. Like, you know, Love, Simon just came out. Oh, and I read the book and when I'm when I was reading the book, I was like, this writer, this author is definitely Jewish. Her name was her name is Becky Albertelli, but I was like, she had she has to be married and that's her married name. Like there's no way, or maybe it's like a made up name that she came up with, like yeah. as an author. Um and then there was a interview with Becky Albertelli and she said how you know, she is Jewish and her last name was Goldstein. I was like, Becky Goldstein, oh my God, <laughs> I totally called it. Yeah. Um, and I, I wish that that had come out when I was in high school because it would have been such a great thing to have, to like hold to, you know? It, it's, uh, I'm really jealous of the people who are in high school right now and have this movie to look up to where it shows all of their peers, what it's like to be in the closet and how terrifying it really is, which is a message that all straight people in high school should really have. And just to, you know, and then him coming out and everyone being okay with it. Like it was, it was really sweet. It was a very sweet story. And it was very like anyone who's in high school would see that movie and be like, oh my God, that's my dream. That it's just like something for them to look to and be like, oh my God, like this is, this is like a fairy tale, you know, a beautifully written gay fairy tale. Yeah. And uh, I wish I had that. Actually, when I was in high school, I remember watching the movie Yossi and Jagger. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't particularly like it. It was in, it was like an okay movie. Um, and then later when I was here in Israel for my gap year, I took a... Um, uh, Jewish film, uh, Jewish and Holocaust film class. Um, and one of the films we watched and had to analyze was Yossi and Jagger. And I rewatched it and, um, there were some things that I was really angry with it about the movie. And one thing that I was really upset with was that the Mifaked, the commander and his soldier, they're in a relationship. Yeah. And, I was like, that's so wrong. Because me, as a Mifaked myself, 
I would never do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, yes, I had a few, I, I had soldiers and yes, they were attractive, but I could never picture myself being in a relationship with them. Right. Um, That's like an abuse of power. Like, you yeah. can't do that. Yeah, like there was one time, actually the craziest army experience I've ever had was walking into the showers and seeing my Khaleem jerking off. And I was God. like, what is going on here? I turned around and I ran out. I was like, wow, this is, um, this is like a really interesting experience. Um, my, 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 my Khaleem were okay with it. They actually, my, my soldiers did know that, I, that I'm gay. Um, so they were, uh, they were really embarrassed and they're like, we're, we're really sorry. I'm like, you can't, like, I actually yelled at them. I was like, you guys can't be doing this. You know, like, it's not, not okay. That's for your home. You can't do that on base. <laughs> not allowed. Yeah. Um, and then we left like, it there. It's not allowed for anyone to do that on base. Not just because, like, like they had a game FFK. Just, like, in general, on base. In general, yeah. You don't do that. Like, yeah. it's not that you were being overly strict. It's just inappropriate yeah. in general, period. Exactly. Um, but, you know, like, some, to, going back to Yossi and Jagger, like, uh, sorry, I got off track, but, like, um, you know, they were, they're a Mifaked and a soldier in a relationship together, which is, A, not okay. You know, um, they actually tell us that we're not allowed to be in any relationship with, like, any of the Chaylim on our base. Um, you know, of course it happens, but, like, you know, it, 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 it can't happen. Yeah. Um, you know, it's fine for a mifaked and a mashaki otash to be a couple. Like, that's okay. But, you know, when it's, um, there are some co-ed units and they're like, they're very strict on their, um, mafka, like, all, like all of the people who are commanders and officers, because they're also of mixed sex, they're not allowed to be couples. They, they yeah. can't be dating one another. It's not okay. Um... But something that really, really horrified me was when Yossi goes to make a shiva call because yeah. Jagger, Jagger was killed. When he goes to his family and makes a shiva call, he actually tells his parents that he's gay. He like yeah. th- he does it without even the parents realizing it. But um, he like the mother says, I don't even know what his favorite song is. And the commander said, oh, it's about this person. It's, th- it's this person's song. And he says the name of the song. And the song itself is about gay sex. Wow. Um, and it's no person who is straight would love that song. That's, that wouldn't be their favorite song. Right. So it was him basically outing his dead soldier to his grieving yeah. parents. And I really was not okay with that. And I, I don't suggest that movie to anyone to watch just because of that those two main factors um i feel like that must be really frustrating to be 18 to be analyzing this movie in a class and being like this is just an incorrect portrayal of what it means to be in a same-sex relationship like it should not be a power dynamic in the army that doesn't happen and also like you can't out each other it's not i mean in my opinion <clears throat> as a straight woman like just from my experiences with friends like you like that just like that movie to me sounds like it's just hitting all the points that you don't do like a movie of what doesn't happen yeah and you know like it wasn't until i really became a commander that i was and i was put in the shoes of this other commander and it's like yeah you know your soul like my soldiers were good looking people but also they were much younger than me much more naive than I am and you know, I, I think that like him doing that was you know a really big power play you know he's taking I, I felt almost as if he was taking advantage of his soldier yeah. and that's something that is really not okay in the army and the army actually shows this movie to um, like in officers and commanders course they show this movie because there's also other things in the movie that are not okay, like relationships that aren't okay, but they really stress like different factors and different things. And, you know, they, they point out that like this guy is really kind of taking it, even though he doesn't seem to be, you know, even though he might not realize it, but he is taking advantage of a kid who, you know, a commander is usually at the least a year and a half older than their soldier right 
Um, but I think in this case, this guy wasn't just a commander. He was also an officer, which automatically puts him a good three years older than his soldier. And I mean, kind of just going back, um, do you feel like this is, like this happens a lot when portraying gay people in media that like there's a lot of misrepresentation, a lot of misinformation, or do you feel like that is just what used to happen and now things are changing and hopefully like, and like you know that they're getting better? Because I feel like, <clears throat> like growing up, when I saw movies, I would be like, I don't feel like this makes sense. Like they would either over sexualize couples or, you know, make them seem more extremists than just a normal couple would be. But I feel like it's more interesting to hear what you think as somebody growing up with that. Um, when I was growing up, I mean, I also haven't really watched any TV or any was really in, into in any media for the past three years just because of the army. Yeah. Um, but growing up, like, there definitely wasn't a lot. Of, there was representation, but there wasn't a lot of it. Um, however, now there's now that I'm out of the army, I'm starting to watch more things on TV and all of that. Um, I'm seeing that there is a lot more representation than I, what I remember three years ago. Yeah. Um, and I think it's actually amazing. Um, but you know, I I just I don't know so much about it just because growing up, you know, there was a lesbian couple on Grey's Anatomy. And then sometime when I was in high school, there was a show called The New Normal, which was about a gay couple having a surrogate child, but it was canceled after one season. And, you know, that was basically what I had to go with. Whereas now, literally every single TV show has a gay character in it. And that gay character is one of the main characters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now movies, now that Love, Simon has come out, like, movies is Hollywood is very open to the gay world now you know a lot of movies will have a gay character in it um I was watching a movie on Netflix last night and there was the it was all about like this straight uh straight people but um and a couple but this girl had like mentioned they were like on a date with like a group of friends and this girl had mentioned how like a guy named Sebastian, I think was actually his name. He, she's like, uh, yeah, you know, like Sebastian broke up with me and it was like a long time ago and whatever. And, uh, and he's like a really bad guy. And then this, this guy pipes, randomly just pipes up and he was like, oh, I kissed a guy named Sebastian once. Total douchebag. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yes. But that's just Hollywood nowadays. They have to add in that gay character and they always add in that gay character. Even if it's just like in this movie that was two hours long, it was literally a five second comment but you know for the rest of the movie you have this character in there and you know that he's gay yeah um like just changes like your perspective as to what the normal is now it, exactly. like changes the way the world works yeah i love that